Morning guys, just woke up. Normally put the recycling up the night before. God, what a difference that they make. Blowing a gale. Wowzers. Just in the nick of time. Oh, it's so windy. It's horrible. Not used to it now. It's been nice for so long. Whew. That woke me up. Let's have a coffee. Oh. Right guys, welcome back to the Kitty Family Vlog. Today we are going to school once again and I do not want to. I'm going to the hospital tomorrow. Yes, you are, mate. Yeah, I've got a hospital appointment tomorrow for ear, nose and throat. Finally, people who've been following us quite a while and know the princess suffered terrible with ear infections. She actually even gave it, had to give up swimming lessons because of it. But it, that was probably about 18 months maybe two years ago and we finally got an appointment so right we need to be going out the door dinosaur mates this is why everybody should have wheelie bins they stop all the rubbish blowing up the streets there's rubbish everywhere man help me please someone someone who can help me clean up all day long but is it any wonder it all blows around when this is the council's idea of recycling being clean will be my vow. Put it in the bin. Cause I gotta throw it out. It'll the be one clean, I ended up the sea. The beach is absolutely full of leaves this morning. Thanks to Storm Hector. <laughs> I think we'll do a beach clean. Hopefully there'll be some bags there. It's not here. The stand's not here. That's a shame. I knew it, get you. <laughs> I was, I thought it's gonna get her. <laughs> I could see that, mate. Oh dear me. <laughs> Gotta take chances, haven't we? See all these plastic cups, then. Do you know, I don't know whether the traders could do more to help with this. really isn't it we were just talking now and i was wondering everything that's sold at the seaside should be biodegradable because if you're in a city the rubbish will blow around the same as it does anywhere else but it will end up in a corner somewhere and a council or somebody will end up picking it up but by the sea it ends up in the sea it could end up anywhere in the world it's ruining marine life biodegradable everything at least then we know it will eventually decompose Wow, it's super windy up here. Just a little bit. Take the um, <laughs> thing out so they can hear the wind. Okay. <laughs> that's windy. It is a blustery day. Surely that's not a tent for there. It is too. 
Oh my days, could have picked a better day for camping, guys. The wind's dying down a bit now around by here. It's, uh, it's not so bad when you get down, you're just sheltered from it. It's just so windy. What's his name again? Hector. What the Hector? Look at this sea. Do you know, you never see waves this big so far out. Look. You could surf that. It's even hard to keep this camera still. It's crazy. I wouldn't fancy being in a kayak in this weather. Did you hear about those two guys who were um, rescued in a kayak? Same kayak as mine? <sighs> I don't know. Surf's up, dude. There's my favourite beach. You come round the corner, look, into Jackson's Bay. It's lovely and calm. And then you look out there and you've got these massive waves. Just a little tiny breeze now around this side. My look went swept. <laughs> we were just saying now that it's really windy, so you feel you need something on, but uh, it's too warm. Like it's too warm for a hoodie. And it's definitely yeah. too warm for this big coat. I know. So it's blowing a gale, but we're sweating, it's strange. Yeah, slush. Look at the colour of that sky in the sea. That looks lovely, don't it? Fair dudes, that's slush. Oh, summer. We've arrived. Right Heaven now, is a beach. Being on Barry Island. Thrilling. The sun has even come out now. We're on Jackson's. This is just the best place in the world. It says the best place. It? No it matter is. what you've got going on, you can just come here, not think about it, and just appreciate the sun. Yes, that's right. Quiet. It's lush. lush. It, is it is lush. lush. So nice. But don't be fooled. Look how fast those clouds are moving up there. It's still pretty windy. Wind's blowing over the top of the cliff. So by year, uh, it's just perfect. Lush. Perfect. That's wet. We both got wet feet now, mate. Yeah, look, it's like it dries as you step on it, isn't it? It's because you're so hot, mate. It's so heavy. Girl. <laughs> this is the very worst. Look at that. Imagine walking along the beach with no shoes on, or your dog. It's just stupid, people are. Look at this, babes. Look at that. That's obviously coming in this morning, haven't it? Look at it. Should we get it in the water and go for a little sail on it? <laughs> sail away, sail away. Yeah, I bet it is. It's wet. It's burnt halfway as well, look. Someone's had a barbecue on it. I'm there. Boy Jackson's Bay. Love you. Look, even the seagulls are littering now. Sort yourselves out, seagulls. Cans, paper, plastic. Where's Glasgow? What are we supposed to do with this then? I don't really want to carry it on. What are you supposed to do with glass, eh, mate? Well, obviously sometimes. Look at all these leaf petals. Look at that. Little love hearts. And there, look. That's because they love Jackson's Bay. Oh, look at that. It's a proper... Oh, mate. I 
love you too. It's off them, is it? I'm guessing so. I want some of them in our garden. Quick, get a clipping off it. Oh, love is. That's all this off, yeah. I don't want them in the garden, no. It's like a rose bush. But the petals, they're beautiful. What is it? It's like a dog bone. Oh, is it? Oh, I've never carried a poop bag, see, I don't know. Windy again, let's get home for a coffee. Joseph had the wheelie bin down, she locks me out. <laughs> this is what I mentioned to you down the point that three men rescued off Porth Kerry. Um, there was three of them in a two-man kayak, the same kayak as what I've got, and they were rescued after they can make it back to shore. You gotta be careful, mind, don't you? You know. They do, it's to the coast guard, don't they? The coast guard's amazing, mind, don't they? Yeah. Saves many people's lives. What would have happened to them otherwise? Right, finish the editing for the day. Right, chores all done, uh, and I mean chores like cleaning the house, cleaning the toilet, cleaning the floor. Hoover in, all the rubbish stuff. And now it's time to go and get Princess. She's going to another party tonight. Another Quasar party. She's lucky. She's a lucky girl. It's just so flaming windy, ma. Blow your head off. She forgot her coat, guys. I can't see her go cold. I didn't forget it. I thought it was, I was warm earlier. So I thought, oh, I'm not wearing a coat. I've got long sleeves on. <laughs> no freezing. Well, not now. I've got your jumper. Yesterday in the vlog, I noticed when I was just editing it, I say, I picked you up from work, that she's in agony with her back. And I say that you should, you know, should have some time off work. And then when you're vlogging later, you say, my back is great. I feel great. And I'm like, that looks like a right liar. <laughs> I know, because I don't but, like moaning. That's no, why. The truth of it is, she's got painkillers. Yeah. And yesterday she was like, oh, my back is so much better. I said, don't get too excited because when your painkillers wear off, it's going to be back to normal. No, I'm yeah. fine. And she was back in agony then a few hours later, weren't you? Yeah. There Thanks you are. Everyone oh, and it's overwhelming, saying. isn't it? It's lovely. It makes me feel better just reading that. <laughs> Good day in school, mate? Yeah. Good. Oh, you little gymnasts. Have you two had a nice day in school? Nice day, Ava? Yeah. Nice day, babes? Yeah. That's what gave you big blisters, mate. Yeah. You must be crazy. Quick, Mum's calling us. We've got to go. Boogie darts! Oh, look at their cakes. They are wicked. Look at that. Crab cakes. Let's have a look at yours, babes. Oh, she's eating his legs. Oh, sorry, crabby. Poor crab. Oh, Mr. Crab. Home sweet home. We got Ava with us today as well, guys. Ava is with us! And we're going to a birthday party. Down. Quasar. I think I've already mentioned that. Oh, look at you two looking all quasar -y. Nice plug for quasar there. I hope you appreciate it, Mark. <laughs> well, I hope you have a lovely time, girls. Hey, should I do your hair, doll? Looks nice like that. Looks nice, yeah, all curly yeah. and wavy. You'll get bullying in there. Why do you have pigtails at top? Should be matching. Made for me. It's nice on you that hoodie, mate. She's rocking it. It's Daddy's hoodie! Let's go there. Yeah, she stole it. I wonder why. Have a lovely time, girls. Bye. Loads of love. Bye. Yeah. Happy 
I was watching Casey Neistat last night and he was talking about people criticising his vlogs and then he came up with this quote Those who say it can't be done shouldn't interrupt those who are doing it. These people, these haters, these mega negatrons are bringing me down. And it made me think of one of my favorite fake Chinese proverbs, which is, people who say it can't be done should not interrupt those who are doing it. I'm doing it. Stop interrupting me with your negative YouTube comments that are hurting my feelings. And it is so true because you get so many criticisms from people. The only time I get frustrated really is when they've got their own channel and they know what's involved in making and editing videos and they got they just say silly things, you know? And uh, I thought, Casey, well done mate. I couldn't have said it better myself. So how did it go then? Good. Did he have a nice party? I think so. Who, who was Top Gun? Team win this time? No. Oh, oh me! Never mind. You're always on the losing team, team down there, didn't you? Yeah. What does that say about you? Rubbish. <laughs> no, it doesn't. You're not rubbish, mate. Uh, unlucky, babe. You're yeah. just unlucky, that's all. Sandra had a good time. Oh, no, it comes to Quasar. Yeah, that's oh, right. Nice. That's right, mate. <laughs> Very lucky. She just broke a jaw, bro. She just broke a jaw breaker. How do you do that? Go, oh, she got some jaws on her, mate. Guys, the weirdest thing yesterday, I, I forgot to mention it, but when I was editing, I was sat, I was sat on a settee just, just where Mrs. D is there. I just used this crash bang. I just jumped out my skin. I was the only one in the house. And it was this. This was the culprit. The dudgies. It just fell. It fell down. But the thing was, the princess had some, some of her Lego set up there in a plastic container. Oh, the noise it made. Honestly, fright me after that. But guys, anyway, we've got to go now. Princess is just about to have a bath. So we're going to say goodbye, guys. I know what to do at the end of the vlog. What do you want to do at the end go, of the vlog? Bye. Okay, guys, thank you for joining us on our day. We really appreciate you sticking around. Don't get lost or squashed. And, and we'll we will speak, speak more soon. Bye. bye. Cheese family, leave like.